If you are planning a trip to Ireland, you might see many people say that renting a car is essential. While it can certainly help, it's not required if you want to see multiple cities. There are many ways to see the country, whether it be by train, bus, or even by ferry. Welcome to Multicity Trips, the multi-destination travel expert for personalized multi-city trips to Europe. And in today's video, we give you our guide to Ireland, plus three of our favorite 10-day itineraries that will let you experience the best of Ireland without a car. New to our travel channel? We post new videos every Monday and Thursday, so subscribe today and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our latest travel guide, inspiration, tips, and amazing travel itineraries available to your favorite destinations in Europe. To make the most of this guide, check out our recommended flights, hotels to stay in, and more things you can do at each destination in the video description below. For a full list of recommendations mentioned in any of our travel itineraries, click on the link provided in the description to access the blog post version of this guide from our website. The most common mode of public transportation in Ireland is the bus. Buses are available in all major cities, and trains are a great option if you are hoping to travel between cities. You also have several options for taxis or rideshare services. Uber and Halo are two ride-sharing apps that are common in America and in England respectively, and they are both available in Ireland. The easiest way to travel through Ireland without renting a car is by sticking to the major cities and booking guided tours and excursions if you want to head out of the city. Here are our favorite 10-day itineraries that will let you experience the best of Ireland without a car. Itinerary 1 Dublin, Dundalk, and Donegal. This itinerary starts in perhaps the most famous Irish city, and one you'll definitely want to visit, Dublin. Dublin has its own airport, so you'll be able to arrive there with ease before exploring what the city has to offer. You can step back in time by visiting the historic Dublin Castle, or visit the Guinness Storehouse Factory and take a tour to learn about the beer that is produced there. After spending a few days exploring Dublin, it's time to head to Dundalk, which isn't too difficult or time-consuming. You can catch a train from the Drumcondra Rail Station to Dundalk, and the journey takes about an hour and a half. When in Dundalk, you can explore historic castles and beautiful parks and outdoor attractions. You can also visit some incredible museums, such as the County Museum at Dundalk. You can learn more about local history and culture when visiting. Once you have explored Dundalk to your heart's content, you can head onwards to Donegal. This city is located in the northwestern portion of Ireland, and is only slightly more challenging to get to. You can catch the 166 bus from Dundalk to the Cavan bus station, and then catch bus 30 to Donegal from there. Donegal is known for its natural beauty and historic sites. When you're in town, head to the Shaliev Lee Cliffs, which are the highest seaside cliffs in all of Europe. They tower 1,972 feet above the waters of the Atlantic Ocean and are a truly impressive sight to see. Once you are finished exploring Donegal, you can navigate the bus system back to Dublin, but the easier option is to catch a flight from the Donegal Airport. You can head back to Dublin from here or you can head onwards to your next destination or back home with ease. Itinerary 2 – Cork, Galway, Kildare, and Dublin Start this itinerary by flying into Cork. Cork is one of the largest cities in Ireland and is often noted as being the food capital of Ireland. You can sample different breads and fish dishes, or if you're feeling adventurous, you can try tripe and drusheen. From Cork, you can head to Galway. There are several travel itineraries with a combination of bus and train travel, but the easiest way to make the journey is to catch the 251 bus from St. Patrick's Quay in Cork, which takes you directly to Galway. Galway is a city known for its strong cultural and creative heritage. You can experience the traditional Irish music and dance at various events and festivals that take place in Galway throughout the year. It's also a very tourist-friendly destination, as many people flock here every year to experience everything the city has to offer. After exploring Galway, head east to Kildare. 
You can do this most efficiently by taking the Irish Rail train from Galway to Port Arlington. From there, you can catch another train towards Kildare. Kildare is a fantastic destination for experiencing the countryside. You can take a boat tour or visit historic houses and gardens. Kildare is also notable for being the equine capital of Ireland, so if you're interested in horse racing, you'll find plenty to do here. From Kildare, you can head to Dublin to end your journey. Of course, Dublin is a thriving Irish city that has plenty to offer, so you can choose to stay here for a few days or simply head to the Dublin airport to head home after your exciting Irish adventure. Itinerary 3. Kerry, Killarney, Tralee, and Dingle to the Blasket Islands. For an adventure through the southwest part of Ireland, fly into Kerry Airport, which is where you will start and end your trip. It may be a smaller airport, but it is still an international one, so you should be able to find a flight or a connecting flight here with relative ease. From here, you can catch a bus directly to the city of Killarney, which takes about 45 minutes. You can also rent a taxi, which is far more expensive, but only takes 15 minutes. Once in Killarney, you have plenty to do, but the best activities to focus on are exploring the outdoors. To the west of the downtown area, you'll be able to find many outdoor parks, such as the Killarney House and Gardens. There are many incredible hotels you can choose to stay at in Killarney, but the Great Southern Killarney is one of the best. Plus, it's located across the street from the train station. You could easily spend the majority of your trip just in Killarney because of the incredible natural beauty that surrounds the city. For example, Killarney National Park is a beautiful destination that is accessible by bus or taxi. Once you've had your fill of exploring Killarney, you can take a bus or a train to Tralee. Tralee is located to the north of Kerry, and it's the largest town in the region. There are many things you can do in Tralee, and if you happen to be visiting during August, you may be able to stop by the Rose of Tralee International Festival, a celebration of Irish culture and heritage. Additionally, Tralee is known for its sports culture and historic sites. After Tralee, you can take a bus to Dingle, the only town on the Dingle Peninsula. It's a small coastal town with a permanent population of just over 2,000 residents. You can spend time exploring the businesses in Dingle before catching a ferry to the Blasket Islands. These islands were once home to a population who later settled in Massachusetts in the United States. Today, the islands contain interesting historic ruins and, according to local legend, a collection of ghosts. From Dingle, you will have to take a bus back to Tralee and then catch a connecting bus back to the Kerry Airport before heading back home. While Ireland is a fantastic country to drive through, you can still have an incredible experience visiting without renting a car. There you have it, our travel guide to Ireland plus our three favorite 10-day itineraries that will let you experience the best of Ireland, all without the need of driving or renting a car. We hope you find our itineraries and guide helpful, and if you are planning a trip inspired by our itineraries, ensure to check our recommended of the best flights, hotels you can stay in, and best things to do during your visit in the video description below. Need help planning and finding the best vacation package to Ireland or other European destinations? Visit us at multicitytrips.com today and see how our travel experts can help you design and personalize your dream vacation.